The jungle is full of surprises. That's why you should be ready for anything when you go to this place. For example, to encounter a prehistoric giant snake, which has long been considered extinct, a mysterious primate, and even a whale. This is Smart Pizza, and in this episode, you'll see the strangest animals and creatures found in a jungle. Let's go! A New Primate Species The picture you see now came to us from New Zealand. People caught on camera two representatives of an ancient tribe, one researcher and a primate of a completely new species, previously unknown to humans. From the outside, it looks insanely unusual and interesting, but at the same time, it also raises a number of questions. Why haven't these primates been spotted before? Why didn't a research team come there and observe the behavior of the new species? What is this tribe in the first place, and how is it related to apes? All in all, the picture makes you wonder. Do you think it's real or fake? Write in the comments. And what is definitely not a staging or a fake is the following story and pictures from it, which show a huge whale stranded in the Amazon jungle. Biologists discovered the 36-foot carcass of the dead animal, which was as much as 50 feet away from its natural habitat. How could a humpback whale have gotten so far? It doesn't look like he was thrown out by the waves at all. Nevertheless, there's no other plausible explanation. A high tide is the scientist's only answer. It seems to me that if there had been a high tide on this shore, the locals would have known about it. In addition, besides the whale, there would be fish and other creatures around, but I don't see any. The following case is no less mysterious, and the proof is these frightening pictures. They show either a primate or a human being. It's said that the photos were taken back in the 1930s, but until recently, they were afraid to make them public. Today, there are many people who love to delve through old documents, so one of them came across this case. He began to unravel it and stumped the scientists. Some claim that the photo's fake, but for some reason, no one's ever said so before. Others, on the contrary, are sure that they're facing a new primate species, which scientists crossbred with humans, but made a number of mistakes, as a result of which it was decided to eliminate all these animals. It sounds creepy, and what do you believe more? Write in the comments. Mandrill. Since I'm talking about primates, I should also tell you about 100% real rare monkeys, which it's better for no one to encounter with. They're very beautiful, colorful, big, but why would you not wish your worst enemy to encounter them? It's because of their temperament. Because of their aggressiveness, even leopards are afraid to attack them. To begin with, mandrills, or as they're called, mandrillus sphinx, live in the equatorial forests of West Africa. They rarely cross paths with other apes unless it's about procreation. But this doesn't make Mandrilla Sphinx wise. You know, when a creature's alone for a long time, it's believed that it's zen, and better assesses what is happening around it. Well, that's nonsense, at least as far as primates are concerned. A huge creature with battle coloring and fangs the size of a finger inspire fear with its mere appearance, turning potential enemies to flee. The mandrel, by the way, is one of the largest representatives of non-human primates. No one's going to want to argue with it, especially if they see this mouth gaping to an unthinkable size. In addition to its fiery temperament, this rare jungle monster is also extremely territorial. It does not tolerate strangers on its territory. In addition, mandrels do not walk alone. Therefore, if a gang, usually consisting of 20 to 30 creatures, happens to notice an uninvited guest on their property, the intruder will have a bad time. Want to be even more surprised? Such powerful primates occasionally gather in groups of 100 individuals. No one can stop them, of course, especially if Mandrilla Sphinx don't like something. The only good thing about this story is that the mandrel doesn't eat meat. Despite the long fangs and quarrelsome character, 98% of the diet of the painted monkeys consists of vegan goodies. The jungle creature's menu is based on fruit, leaves, stems, and other vegetation. Glass frogs Nature is a unique thing. 
on the same planet with dangerous, bright, and huge mandrills, such cute glass frogs can live, which hide absolutely nothing from anyone, even their organs. Yes, as you understand, the name of the frogs came from the unusual structure of their body. Their skin, particularly around their abdomen, is completely transparent. Through it, you can see internal organs of the frogs, including their heart, liver, and digestive tract. Most glass frogs are lime green, but some species may have different markings on their skin. Such color perfectly helps the frogs blend in with their environment and not get in troubles. But since predators also have camouflage, the glass amphibians went further and began to live in trees. There's no need for them to come down to the ground unless it's mating season. The first transparent individual was encountered only at the end of the 19th century, all because of the rare color. The unique appearance quickly attracted the attention of scientists. As more and more glass frogs were discovered, researchers began to study their anatomy and behavior in an attempt to understand the mysterious property of their transparency. There were many theories. Some believed it was a tool from Mother Nature for camouflage. Others were sure that Mother Nature had nothing to do with it, and it was all about regulating internal temperatures. It wasn't until the next century that people managed to set the record straight. Studies have shown that all this is a common adaptation that allows the frogs to merge with their environment and hide from predators. But temperature regulation also takes place here. Because of the transparent skin, the sun's rays penetrate into these tiny organisms and warm their organs. When the frogs are active, the blood flowing through the veins makes them more visible. But when they sleep, most of the blood accumulates in the liver, effectively hiding them from predators. In ancient times, they didn't have webbed feet, but today they can use them to cling to vertical surfaces and climb trees. Who knows, maybe a little more time will pass and glass frogs will show us another unique trick for survival in the wild. A copy. Do you think unicorns exist? I think people with a developed imagination definitely believe in them. However, skeptics, as one, will answer that they're definitely not in our lives. Well, if you've been one of those skeptics so far, here's a rebuttal. This is the okapi, not a purebred, but still an African unicorn. This is the animal with the appearance of a horse, which is the only surviving relative of the giraffe. At the same time, it has the color of a zebra and a horn on its head. Oh yeah, I almost forgot the okapi also has a very long tongue, which can reach 16 inches in length. The animal licks its own eyes like a gecko. So, what is it in the first place? The okapi remained unknown to people for a long time. For the first time, it was talked about only in 1890. Of course, not having the right technology, scientists couldn't make up their minds what creature was standing in front of them, either a mutated zebra or a horse subjected to crossbreeding, or even someone alien or the one who came into our world from science fiction books. Not knowing what to do, people gave these unusual creatures the name okapi and set out to collect other data about this species. But catching any small okapi was not easy, to put it mildly. Because of this, after a couple of years, it was decided to call them the African Unicorn. The okapi was nicknamed Unicorn, not because of the horns that grow on its head, but because even in those days the animal was already very rare. Over time, the traps of people became more and more effective, and soon London scientists took the remains of one of the okapi for their research. It remains a mystery how many of these unicorn walk on our planet today, but presumably the number of representatives of the species is from 5 to 35,000. Titanoboa, is that you? Titanoboa is a legendary snake that is the world's largest creeping creature in history. Not surprisingly, having found some remains or traces of this creature, people began to actively discuss this topic and create all sorts of skeletons in order to sensibly assess the chances of modern animals against Titanoboa. As it turns out, there would be almost no chance. The prehistoric giant could have swallowed even a dinosaur if they lived at the same time, let alone modern predators the size of which is not dozens of meters. Nevertheless, it would not be in a hurry to write off the monster of the past. The fact that people cannot find it in our days does not mean that it's extinct. After all, only a very small fraction of the world ocean has been explored by humans. There's a good chance that Titanoboa has moved out of the rivers and settled somewhere down there. 
And when it gets bored or just needs a snack, it comes back to its native South America and hunts boats with people and animals in them. At least something like that was captured in this video. People were boating down the Amazon River when suddenly this huge thing appeared in front of them. You have to admit that it doesn't look like an anaconda or python at all. The snake was truly abnormal in terms of size. That's all guys. Do you believe Titanoboa may be alive? Share your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching and see you later.